What's going on Leo and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Tawny Michelle and I'm a weirdo, probably just like you. We embrace our weirdness over here on this channel. So if that sounds interesting to you, you should definitely subscribe before you leave. We are not all love, light, twin flames and unicorns over here. So please keep that in mind. And I'm a Leo rising in case you didn't know. So I love doing my Leo raising readings for that reason. I normally relate more with my rising sign than I do my other signs. Um, but yeah, this is your tarot and astrology video for February, 2020, and it's a month, man, it's a month. And I know we are like dragging ass, like, can this be over yet? Can the sun come out again? Like it is so doom and gloom here in the nor Northern hemisphere on the East coast of the U S it is like just, uh, <laughs> and I'm normally not really a summer person, even though I'm a Leo rising, like I was born in October. So this past winter has been seriously heavy, seriously intense, seriously dense. And I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. It's been hard to even find motivation. It's been like dragging ass, you know, like literally I've been sleeping just all the time at any time of the day or night. And it's just insane. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are feeling that energy too because of that. It's just, it's the winter solstice and we have all of this heavy energy and Capricorn that is just not fun for us. Like I said last month, Capricorn season is not the funnest time. It's like where we got to address the shit that we don't want to address. So I'm sure you guys have spent a lot of time addressing that shit that you didn't want to take care of, that shit that you've been putting off, you know, like, and I've had to too. I had to go to the dentist because Capricorn rules the bones and I've had to make all kinds of different doctor's appointments. And we've had to essentially grow up from that Leo childlike energy into the big bad adult or the big bad wolf. I have a card with a wolf on it here so yeah anyways we've been through hell you guys i think everybody has but there is a few signs i feel like that have went through it a little bit more intensely and i feel like leo is one of those signs because capricorn is our sixth house of daily routines schedules our sleep schedule for instance um and the work that we have to do in our health and like the shit that we don't want to take care of right and so Anyways, this month, the biggest theme that I see for us, yes, you will probably hear from a lot of people, this is the eighth house that we are dealing with and the seventh house, okay? So especially if you're a Leo rising, but even if you're a Leo sun or moon, you may still resonate with this video. So keep that in mind. Um, but the word, so Aquarius is our opposite sign. So it's the sign that's all about connection and uh, relationships and other people, right? And the first general energy for February 2020 that we had come out here is the lover's card. Woo woo, you know, like could have could have foreseen that. But so there is kind of like a little bit of a focus on relationship. But the thing is, is like the sun is in Aquarius, like basically all by itself because everything has already kind of passed Aquarius. So and we have a lot of focus on Pisces energy, which is our eighth house. OK, so, yeah, the eighth house is the house of full of our dark secrets, our deep, dark truths, full of our fears full of other people's money, so shared finances, shared resources. And with the hermit here, you are going to be, also with the astrology, but you are going to be taking a very deep look. You are going to be going down in that basement this month. That's what I call the eighth house. It's like an old basement with cobwebs and whatever, right? And I know a lot of you guys are like, really more darkness, like I don't think I can take it, but Pisces is a healing energy. And I honestly feel, yeah, this Mercury retrograde and Pisces this month, which we'll get to, is going to be gnarly. <laughs> if you remember last March, that was a gnarly Mercury retrograde because we had it in Pisces and it's on Neptune. And so it just makes the energy that much more confusing and scattered. So yeah, it's going to be a gnarly time, but I think essentially it's going to be very healing for a lot of us. Okay. And I feel like that's why I feel like it's kind of tying up. Um, like we're still kind of in like the last decades energy. So that's why it doesn't necessarily feel like new year, new me, you know what I mean? But we are tying those things up. We've just kind of gotten to a slow start. So I really think that, you know, once we get to March, that's when that energy is going to start really feeling like, okay, this is a new year. It's time to get on top of shit. And that's kind of what I see in the cards here as well. So with this Aquarian energy, like wherever the sun goes is important for Leos because the sun rules our sign, right? So um, a kind of 
The sun's in Aquarius kind of like all by itself. So you guys may feel kind of like there may be like a lot of disconnection going on with relationships or you may feel like you're not seen or you may be feeling a little bit lonely the beginning of February or even like now, um, which is totally normal. So don't. And plus, you guys, like we've we've been through worse. OK, we can handle that. <laughs> um, but I know like a lot of you guys will probably have the main question of like, when is this shit going to get better? And I really do feel like this month is a huge breaking point for all of us. I really do feel that. So hang in there and we will go over it. I will amp your ass up because I've had to amp myself up anyways. So like I said, with the sun in Aquarius, there's going to be a huge focus on relationships, but this focus isn't going to just be for this month. This is going to carry over, okay? The sun is shining a spotlight on your connections with people, okay? And basically any significant relationships you have in your life, whether they're romantic or not, um, because we are getting prepared. So it's very important this month, Leo, that you pay attention because we the sun is kind of prepping the stage because saturn is about to move into aquarius once we get into march okay and this is going to be a big deal if you haven't watched my 2020 predictions for all signs i went over why saturn and aquarius is a big deal because saturn it takes three years to go through a sign so saturn's going to change from capricorn where it's been for the last three years from our sixth house of work, health, daily routine, and into the sign of Aquarius, which is all about our relationships. So that's like a really big freaking deal. Relationships are going to change dramatically, okay? But go watch my 2020 video because there's so much more that you would need to know on that if you if you want to. So this may be bringing up places where you feel disconnected or where you feel um, like not part of something or not a part of something in one of your relationships or in all of your relationships. And this could really bring up a little bit of social anxiety, I feel, for some of us as well. But Mercury is going to be um, with Venus and Pisces the first part of the month, the first like little bit of the month there um, with Venus. And this is going to be like our focus is going to really be on like wanting to make deals and negotiate and, you know, sexuality, intimacy, creative projects, other people, maybe doing creative projects for other people. OK, business or any kind of shared resources, shared finances, finances or resources that you share with someone else or that you get from somewhere outside of you. So any loans, taxes, um, you know, anything like that. So you could also start feeling a lot more intuitive in February, and there could also be some strategizing, researching, or financial planning that needs to be done here. But it's really going to be about those intimate and sensitive matters and situations that you're dealing with and dealing and facing fears this month, okay? which is going to go so beautifully, but you could be definitely digging and researching something in the month of February, and you're definitely going to be dealing with intimate situations or intimate relationships and financial matters concerning those um, connections that you have, okay? So we're gonna go over the rest of the astrology in a minute, but I really feel like we are rising from the effing dead this month. Like, we are rising from the dead, so don't freak out. Like, I promise you guys, it's going to get better. So let's go ahead and start going over some of your cards. So we have the Oracle card Transmute. This is the um, Threads of Fate Oracle deck. I get a lot of questions about this Oracle deck, so I'm saying it now. And we have the Ask Body Oracle card. We also have Trust. And we have the Sovereign. And I did get the Sovereign last month for you guys, I believe. But basically... What I see here in these Oracle cards, and then also if you're interested in any of the other decks I use, check the description below. I am going to start trying to link the decks that I can link um, down in the description below. So anyways, but what we have here, what I see here is that you have been really confused about a situation, okay? And I see that with other cards as well, but there's been something you haven't been able to see. So you may have been like really trying to change something in your life and your day-to-day -day routines and your health um, or just with yourself. I feel like you guys, like, like I was saying, there's this energy of like restlessness, of feeling drained, of feeling empty. And you've been really trying to transmute that energy with transmute here. And I think it's really time to listen to your body, okay? So 
what is your body telling you? Is it that you are energetically drained? What do you need to do to amp up your energy? Like instead of just trying to like muscle through it, it's like time to really take care of your body, Leo. And I'm sure that you guys have had lessons with that for a while now. I mean, like with all this energy in Capricorn, we've been learning lessons about our bodies and how we need to take care of ourselves better. And so it is really time to start taking care of yourself, okay? Start paying attention. Take that energy with your body and like shift it, use it for something different, okay? Your body is trying to tell you something. We also have trust here. So this tells me that you've been having issues trusting what your body is trying to tell you. There also may be issues this month in trusting something. And this has been coming up a lot, okay? Like a lot with almost every sign we've been having some topic of trust. And so I really feel like you are going to be asked to trust in your faith this month because we also have the card faith, which we'll get to in a second. And then we have the sovereign again, okay? So this is about taking your crown back, okay? This is about taking your crown back. This is about sitting back on the throne, you know, but first you need to take care of yourself before you can do that. So if you've been really trying to like start new things and, and do this and do that, and you have all these grand ideas, I get it. I've, I've had them too. I'm like, oh my God, I have so many ideas and I have so much like inspiration and I'm just coming up with so many creative ideas that I want to do, but I'm so behind in what I already have to do and my body is not giving me the energy, okay? And so that's why it's really important to take care of your body, to transmute that energy into your body and trust that this is happening to tell you something, to show you something. We are still technically in the winter here in the Northern Hemisphere. And so it's not a time to be like, you know, coming out of the closet and starting brand new things and, you know, just doing all these things with your life. We're still not even in the new astrological year yet, okay? So keep that in mind. If so, and I'm not telling you that to like discourage you, I'm telling you that to encourage you. I'm telling you that to let you know that if you've been feeling that way, it is completely 100% normal. You know what I mean? We all are. But the energy right now is basically like, wait, let yourself heal. You have some more healing that you need to do so you can be 100%. So you can get back on top of your throne and kick fucking ass, okay? When shit gets to that point, okay? Which is just like a month to two months away, okay? So hang in there, okay? We got this. So moving on to your Oracle cards, I have be brave and stay wild faith, okay? So this is really having faith in the bigger picture here. This is really having faith in yourself, even when it feels like you're just so deep and it's so heavy. Because in this faith card, we have all these roots underground, okay? And it's like just all these different branches, but it is growing, okay? It will grow again, and it's the winter, right? It's so hard to keep faith in the winter, but it is really time to keep your faith, Leo. So, and with be brave, stay wild, I do feel like there is something that you are going to have to face this month. I do feel like there is something that you are going to have to be brave and do, okay? Something that maybe you've been putting off. And we also have renewal and balance came out reversed, okay? So, and it's so funny because I was just on my IG story yesterday talking about how I'm so out of balance and I can't get anything in balance. And so I think it's funny this came out reversed and then we also have renewal. So balance, okay, it is okay right now. If you're out of whack, if you're off balance, if you're not centered, it doesn't mean that you're like functioning at a low vibration or that something's wrong with your skills, like no it's happening, you're being put out of balance in order to go through this renewal, which I feel like will happen by the end of February, Leo. You will feel healed, you will feel refreshed, and you will feel ready to step into your power again, okay? It is okay, like that's basically what I'm trying to tell you. It is okay that you feel the way you do. So moving on to the tarot, we have the Five of Cups First. So the first week, the Five of Cups and the Seven of Cups, we're feeling emotional, we are feeling drained. And what I really got when these two cards came out was like lack, okay? Like just feeling lack, feeling empty inside, feeling like, like just emotionally drained or maybe even thinking about the past or just feeling sad or disappointed about something. Um, even maybe like 
just really feeling energetically drained and emotionally drained. And then with the seven of cups here, I feel like you're just confused. Like, why is this happening? I thought I healed this. I thought I, I went through what I needed to go through with the star here, you know, but the star here is asking you to keep having hope, to keep focusing on the light, to keep focusing on the stars. Okay. Like you got this, but you have to heal that connection with yourself i really feel that here for you because we have more emotionally confusing energy we have the four of cups and the two of pinnacles it's been really hard to focus on the light i completely understand that it's been really hard to center yourself it's been really hard to like connect with yourself and connect with the divine and connect with spirit because you feel like you're juggling so much and you're so bored with it like you're so uninterested in these things all these things that you've been having to juggle and you're just like over it you know what i mean and i completely feel you i completely get it but and so that's like the first two weeks like you're kind of like you have this vision but at the same time you i feel like some of you guys are still trying to juggle too much even though it's kind of like a time of like rest and rejuvenation Okay, but then moving towards the second half of the month, okay, around when the Mercury retrograde starts, we have the Seven of Wands. So this is getting back into center with yourself, okay? This is seriously like she's created protection for herself. Like she's created her own bubble of protection that no one can burst, no one can get in. She is completely centered within herself. She is just feeling, she's letting the light within her shine outward. Do you see that? And I feel like that is what you are going to be doing somehow, some way, something is going to come to you. And then we even have the emperor here. And it's like, all right, bitch, time to take care of business. Like time to get back on it and time to freaking let this shit go. Like to break these habits, to break these patterns, to break these cycles that have just been going and going and going and going for months now or even years, like even a lifetime, right? Because we have the 10 of wands here. It's like breaking the pattern, dropping the burden. Like I'm fucking done, yo. Like I am done. I am not carrying this shit no more. I am not, no, like I'm done. So something happens with judgment here as well. You come to a moment where you awaken that like spirit inside of you again. You awaken your soul within you and you heal like tremendously. This is a huge, huge breakthrough, Leo, that is like really going to change the game for you by the end of the month. This is all starting to happen towards the second half to the end of February, I see here for you. And also strategy, like I was saying with the emperor here, he's holding a chess um, piece. And so it's like strategy. So you start strategizing and you see where you've been handling, where you've been carrying way too much, where you've been putting way too much pressure on yourself, where you see that the road you're traveling on is going to nowhere at the current moment. And so it's time to change. And this causes a huge awakening for you where you can like literally reconcile the past with the present because that's what judgment is all about, facing our fears, facing our demons, okay? You've hung on to this for way too long. And so, and you will be protected. With the seven of wands here, something towards the end of February is going to look like the odds are not in your favor. It's going to look like the odds are against you. Um, you may even feel like bullied. This could also be dealing with an authority figure. But it's very important that you do your research and that you strategize because this is going to lead to a tremendous breakthrough somehow, some way. So it's important that you go through it because then we have the fool, which this is just beautiful, you guys. Also, I feel like for some of you, this is speaking up about something towards the end of the month, like speaking your truth, living your truth and being just completely free as a bird. Like that's literally what I'm seeing here for you guys. But to get there, with the hermit here, you may have to like you may have to face some things. You may have to face some kind of choice, some kind of crossroads, some kind of decision, or even a relationship, a connection that you haven't been wanting to face. And it may be dark, and it may be scary, and it may be unknown. But once you do it, holy shit! This is like a literally. This is like a hallelujah. Did I say how how hallelujah hallelujah moment <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> This is like a how you, you get it, okay? But it's like one of those kinds of moments, seriously. This is like taking a huge risk, taking a leap of faith. This is like faith restored. 
This is like dealing with the past and not reliving it anymore, breaking the cycle. It's like a huge karmic cycle is just broken, okay? And it's just so beautiful. So let's go ahead and start going over the rest of my notes. I did take like two pages of notes because I was like channeling a lot for you guys when I was looking at the astrology. Um, so yeah, let's go over it. So Saturn, you know, will still be in your sixth house, but it will be squaring Uranus, okay? As we get into February. So this may be a time this month where you could experience random shifts and changes to do with your career, your work, what you want to do out in the world and what you're doing on an everyday basis. And if you feel like what you're doing on an everyday basis is restricting your path to higher enlightenment, higher consciousness, you know, like higher shit, basically. Um, so you may feel like you're being suppressed in, in an area with your health or your daily routines or your the, the work that you do on an everyday basis or your schedule. You may feel like it's restricting you from like really rising up and doing shit. So this is going to force a change, okay? And that's kind of what we've already went over as well. So if you've been feeling restricted um, or if your own personal like talents and individuality has felt restricted or suppressed, especially in your career field or your life path or the direction you're wanting to go in, this will shake you up. This will shake you out of it. This will liberate you, okay? It may take a little bit, but it will. And it may come across like there's some shifts and changes that happen out of nowhere or randomly that scare you at first or that you weren't expecting or that you didn't want, but you do want it. Your higher self wanted it to shake you out of a situation that you weren't able to take the risk on your own, if that makes sense. So, or that you can't see is like the best thing for you. So yeah, this could be some changes at work or some shifts with, sorry about that, Leo. So moving on, Venus is going to move into Aries after like the first week or so of February. And this will be in a place for you where it will help you with connection, trying new experiences and exploration. And you may have like a, a desire to show your truth or to own your truth in some way, kind of like we were saying before. And also learn, create, uh, create for the world or broadcast what you're creating, publishing, media. Um, you may want to travel, okay? Just be careful with that Mercury retrograde that technically starts on the 16th or around the 16th, depending on where you're at, just because that could delay some things, you know? It's not that you can't necessarily travel, you just want to try to either like do it before then, or if you have to do it during the Mercury retrograde, there could be a lot of delays or miscommunications, mishaps, unforeseen kind of like just barriers that are really annoying to deal with. But, um, and then also towards the end of the month, it's going to square all that stuff in Capricorn. So towards the end of the month, you may find that you have to like negotiate something with someone, okay? So um, especially when it comes to your job or there could be a kind of like reflection on what you truly believe and what you truly desire when it comes to your life and your what what in your job is giving you meaning and purpose, if that makes sense. So on the ninth, we have a full moon in our sign. Okay, so if you're a Leo rising, this will be in your first house. So and what this is is this is going to be like a huge reset of who we are. I think this is really going to bring us back to center. Okay, this is going to really bring us back to center. Show us exactly like who we are, what our truth is, right? What burdens we've been carrying that are just no longer like doing it for us, right? That are just making us feel like shit, really, you know? Like, who are you? And so with that full moon in your sign, it's really going to help us get back to center. It's going to be a culmination point of something that we've been doing or something that we've been dealing with that just isn't really truly aligned with who we are and our desires for our life and our life paths and so long, so on. On February 16th, we're going to have the Mercury retrograde and Mars is going to move into Capricorn from Sagittarius. So all this is happening on the 16th. So I think with Mars moving into Capricorn, this is going to put more focus on our work, but it's going to give us the drive and the energy to start completing tasks, daily tasks that we've needed to complete for a while, but haven't had the energy. It's going to really be focused on our achievements. Now, this could bring some competition or some enemies in the workplace, so be careful of that, Leo. Like, Leos like fun competition, but it's important to be careful. It's important to not start comparing yourself or start 
um, taking it too seriously because that could really bring you down as well. So then we have the Pisces new moon on February 23rd, and this is going to be conjunct the Mercury retrograde and it's going to be sextiling Mars and Uranus. So what I see here for us, Leo, is there's going to be some kind of light that's shed on a situation to truly understand what this Mercury retrograde is like having us look at, look deeply at, what this Mercury retrograde is helping us heal from our past, and what this Mercury retrograde has been about for us, okay? It's going to really help us understand those themes of like intimate relationships, relationships from the past, um, relationships with our parents, our family, and how and how it's affected us, okay? It's, this is where I feel like the Pisces new moon is going to be truly, truly healing for a lot of Leos. I really do think that um, this is where we really face the past. This is where we really start anew and feel completely refreshed. Like this is like the judgment and the fool is literally like this is surrender. This is like complete utter surrender and a huge relief and weight lifted off of our shoulders. Like, I mean, I cannot tell you enough how much I'm feeling that. So anyways, so yeah, this is going to shed light on what we've been looking at more closely. So financial matters, shared resources, partners, resources, research, sexuality, occult, sensitive or intimate situations or relationships, um, whatever the Mercury retrograde has been showing us, basically. Possibly surprising information may be revealed that will likely affect our work career, um, but I feel like it may be for the better, even if you don't necessarily see it like that at first. And if there's something you had been trying to negotiate or figure out, this will help you. I really feel like this will be a force that will really come in and like help clear it out for you. So it's important to let go of anything that's beyond your control this month or beyond your reach. But this energy may force us to really change and shift our views on something this month, okay? And possibly even our beliefs. But And then also with the sun in aqua, I kind of feel like this is also going to show us where we want and desire more independence in relationships, but also where, you know, we feel like we're not being hurt or where our relationships may have gone a little bit stale or something along those lines before Saturn moves in there. Also, I feel that some of you guys could be getting some kind of surgery for health issues. So with that Mercury retrograde, just make sure that you schedule everything right, make sure everything is understood. Personally, if you can, I would maybe put it off until uh, March if you can, but if you can't, I get it. Life does have to go on, but there could just be some miscommunications with that Mercury retrograde, so make sure that you're clear on that. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a gnarly Mercury retrograde conjunct Neptune in Pisces, so we're going to be dealing with fears, possible deception, possible escapism, um, but it's important to let others help you this month, Leo. It's important to find that deep sense of passion and creativity again, to find that light within you again, to remember that you're the sun, like you're the fucking sun, you know, like you don't have to try to do anything. You just are right. And once you remember that everything can shift for you. So, but yeah, this is going to be a huge emotional detox that I feel like is going to help us come back into our power. Okay. Like literally come back into our power and speak our truth, get vulnerable, and really dealing with any kind of intimate issues or relationships from the past that need to be sorted out. So that is basically what I am seeing for us this month as Leos. Hopefully this resonated. Definitely let me know down below. I know this was a really long reading, but yeah, let me know down below if you enjoyed this reading and how you're feeling and how your month goes and if you end up resonating. I love you guys. And if you would like to find anything else more about me, then just check my description down below and I will see you guys in my other videos. Bye.